hey y'all welcome back to my channel so y'all know what time it is we are doing a hair tutorial because what's under this bonnet oh, it's giving tonight will be the night yeah okay so we gotta fix that so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i apply my v part wigs so i've been taking a break from frontals because um my edges and my hairline so i wanted a more natural look without having to go get a sew-in i was like let me try a v part wig and see what they're about so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i apply it so right now i'm just showing you the hair details i got this wig from beauty forever and it is a 20 inch v part wig first steps first I like to start off with a clean, washed, and blow-dried hair um, because I just feel like it makes the braid down process as well as the styling so much easier. So what I'm doing here is just sectioning out a portion of my hair that is going to be my leave out. Now the good thing with the V-part wig is that you can leave less hair out than you would with the U-part wig. So what I'm doing is just measuring the wig parting to the leave out that I sectioned out to make sure that it's even before I go in and start braiding the rest of my hair because you want the wig to fit really good and low-key look like you have a sew-in so what I'm doing right now is just sectioning out some anchor braids and what these braids are going to do is they're going to be the braids that the wig is going to stick to so the combs that were in the wig they're going to attach to those braids so what i like to do is take a little bit of my murray's edge wax beeswax and put that at the beginning of my braid just so that i can have some grip as i am braiding my hair and make sure that my braids are super secure. I don't want my braids to be super, super tight, but like I said, we are going to be clipping the wig to our braids, so we want them to be a little bit secure. As I'm braiding my hair, I'm not gonna take that braid all the way. I'm going to just braid it halfway and you guys will see why later on in the video, but I'm basically just going to braid my hair to about the halfway point and then use my clip to clip it so that it doesn't unravel. So I'm gonna brush some of my edges out just so that if I do wanna do a style where I use my edges, that those are out and not braided down. And then now I'm gonna begin braiding my braids that are gonna go under my wig. So look, no one is going to see these braids. So if you wanna do 15 cornrows, go ahead and do that. But for me, I just need four or five good braids flat braids to go under this wig and we could call it a day okay because we don't have all day to be braiding and sewing mm -mm 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 -mm. this is a very very easy style so my braids as you can see the parting is pretty big but the braids are really flat so I believe I did five braids uh, for this style but like I said if you want to do more go off sis do that but for me <laughs> I'm gonna give you five braids, okay? And like I mentioned earlier, those two braids that I did at the beginning, so what I'm gonna do is conjoin them and use that for the braid in the back. So I just conjoined them and then started it like I would start a normal braid, but then just added them to the braid in the back. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now the only thing is when you are doing a V-part wig, there are ways that you can braid your hair so that you can interchange the parting. But for me, I knew I wanted a middle part, so I just left my braiding pattern to fit 
a middle part styling for this wig. I'm gonna go in with some Dugrow hair oil and just put that on my scalp because even though you can take this wig off every night if you would like, um, I don't tend to do that unless it's really irritating me, but I do wanna make sure that I'm taking care of my scalp underneath my wig. So this part, when I tell you so easy, so easy. So we are just going to clip, <laughs> clip the clips of the wig to the braids and like I said, if you part your hair correctly, it should fit seamlessly. So there's two combs on the side as well, and I'm just going to comb those into the braids, making sure not to pull my edges too much, but also making sure that it's secure. And then there's also another clip at the back of the wig to add some extra reassurance. And that's pretty much it. It should feel snug, but not feel super tight on your head. So next we're gonna go on and style the wig. So what I like to do is go in with my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Hair Serum, and I use that along with some heat protectant. I don't know why I didn't show that, I'm sorry, but I use some heat protectant as well. And with this wig, I've been liking the whole blowout look because I want to look like I got a sew-in, honestly. I want somebody to be like, oh my God, girl, your sew-in is so cute. Mm, it's a wig. It's definitely a wig. So I wanted to give that blowout effect. So I'm gonna go in with my curling iron. I believe this is a one inch or a one and a half, but I'll have the correct details down below in the description bar. But I'm gonna go in and curl my hair as usual. But I'm going to um, do something a little different to give me that blowout effect and not give me curls. So I'm gonna take some rollers, and I got these from the beauty supply store. Um, I don't know how much came in a pack, but they were pretty inexpensive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roll that uh, curler into my curl and just pin that to my head. And I feel that, you know, whenever I'm done with my hair, I let that sit for a while. I just feel like the curls come out so beautiful and they just look so natural and flowy and not as tight. Um, and I just overall like that look when going for a more leave out, sew in type of hairstyle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my hair and pin the rollers to my head and do that all over my hair. And what you can do, you can do different uh, variations. Like you can curl your curl inward, you could curl it out facing. It's really whatever you wanna do, but you you could play with it to, to give you the effect that you want. And when I get to the top, I like to go in with my flat iron and section little pieces of my hair to blend in with wig. And as you can see, the blend is it's immaculate, honestly. It's mwah. I do like to section pieces off and then flat iron it before I do go in and curl, but I just do one pass if I can try to, um, just so that I don't put too much heat on my leave out. But here I'm showing you guys just some more step-by-step -step process on how I curl my hair so that you can kind of get the gist of the way that I do it.
all right so that is how the final curls should look i usually like to keep these on for a couple hours it just really depends i don't like to sleep in them if i can avoid it but taking them out i use that same garnier fructis sleek and shine serum and i just rub a little bit on my hands and i just literally pull the roller from the curl um, and you could twist it as well just to give it a little bit of oomph but i just remove it from the curl and let them do what they do Now what I'm gonna do is go back in with my flat iron. It's not shown here, but I'm gonna go in and just flat iron the top a little bit so it can be a little bit more smooth. But here is a close up of what the curls look like. They just look really effortless. And I just, I don't know. I just really like these type of curls with a leave out hairstyle. And there you have it guys that is the final look that is how i apply and style my v part wig i hope you guys enjoyed it it's giving grown woman for real for real and it just gives me a break from the frontals and the glue and like all of that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye